The last speaker who I'm going to call is Dr. Ben Thompson. Dr. Thompson is a nephrologist at the university. He has also traveled uh, with Tarek to the Middle East on one of Tarek's humanitarian missions. Uh, if there's uh, a single person out there, uh, other than Tar Tarek and John's families, who has worked uh, more tirelessly and continually to secure their release than, than Ben, I don't know who it is. He has been involved in all of the logistics of this rally and putting all of this equipment and the whole thing together. And uh, I personally and all of us owe him a big debt of gratitude. And it Dr. Thompson is going to close out our rally with, uh, with a speech to you, and then as I said, then we're going to go on a march around the rally. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Shaw, and thank you all for coming. Um, my name is Ben Thompson. I'm a physician at the London Health Sciences Center. Tarek and John are both good friends of mine, men I consider to be brothers. I was indeed supposed to be meeting them in Gaza City on August 30th to continue the ongoing healthcare projects that Tarek has initiated. John was planning to do a documentary on Tarek's work in Gaza. Now, in light of John and Tarek's ongoing unjust imprisonment, the Lubani and Grayson families wanted peaceful rallies to show solidarity in urging Stephen Harper to pick up the phone Call the Egyptian president. Prime Minister Harper, I urge you, pick up the phone. Call the Egyptian president, Mansour. Release John and Thomas. I echo the leader of the opposition, NDP leader, who says, given the complexity and the urgency of their situation, the difficult political context in Egypt, I urge you to intervene personally, Mr. Harper. The continued delay is unacceptable and completely unjustified. Lubani and Mr. Grayson have begun a hunger strike further emphasizes the need for urgent action on this case. I'd like to note Member of Parliament Irene Matheson is here in solidarity today. So thank you so much for your support. Now, this rally could not have happened without Professor David Heap of Western University and Patty Dalton, the President of the London and District Labour Council. So thank you both very much. There were many other people who helped make this possible, and we will acknowledge them further on the website tarakandjohn.com which I'm hoping each of you can go to visit after the rally to continue to find out what each of us can do to help Tarek and John. Now, I do have news about John and Tarek this morning from John Grayson's sister, Cecilia. She writes, Tarek and John were visited by consular staff yesterday. They are in good health, although they are very tired. This is now the 39th day of their detainment in prison with no charges, it is the ninth day of their hunger strike. They have been told about all the support that has come in from around the world, and they wanted to say thank you to everyone who is so concerned for their well-being and safe return home. Now, like each and every one of you, I have experienced the shock the anger, the frustration from their arbitrary arrest and their ongoing unjust imprisonment. Hundreds of thousands of people have raised their voice to object to the arbitrary arrest and unjust imprisonment of John and Tarek. 
Some of these voices include President Chakma of Western University, who says, Given Tariq and John's circumstances, my office has written letters to the Egyptian embassy to add Western's voice to others across the country and around the world, urging Egyptian authorities for the immediate release of Professors Lubani and Grayson. President Shukri of York University, where John Grayson is a professor, says, York University joins with officials and other members of the Canadian community in calling on Egyptian authorities to release Grayson and Lubani without delay. Now these statements demanding immediate release of John and Tarek have been echoed by the Canadian and World Medical Associations, the Canadian Civil Liberties Association, Amnesty International, Education International, and dozens of academic and professional institutions around the world, including London Health Sciences Centre, Western University Staff Association, Western University Senate, and the Canadian Film Institute. So my friends, Today, we all stand together in peace, demanding Prime Minister Harper use all of the powers of the Canadian government to tell Egyptian President, to tell Egyptian President Adli Mansour, Egyptian General Al-Sisi, and Egyptian Public Prosecutor Mohamed Barakat, tell them Tariq and John need to be released now. So my brothers and sisters, today we demand answers. Why haven't John and Tariq been released? When can Egypt provide guarantees that people will no longer be arbitrarily detained and imprisoned unjustly? Egypt's Deputy Prime Minister is in Toronto this week to have high-level discussions about ways to support Canada-Egypt economic cooperation. I am disgusted. So, Prime Minister Harper, does Canada intend business as usual while Egypt continues to arbitrarily detain John and Tariq? So please, now, follow Dr. Amit Shah on our peaceful rally to free John and Tariq. Dr. Amit Shah will be by the uh, CBC van, so please, join me now. Egypt, Harper, come on, come on, time to release Tarek and John. Egypt, Harper, come on, come on, time to release Tarek and John. Egypt, Harper, come on, come on, time to release Tarek and John. <laughs>